Hello and welcome, my name is Dennis Mabuka and in this video we're going to be making this morphing effect where unlike in the previous one where we had uh, the same object change its colors and materials in this one we'll try to have one object morph into a different object and we'll be using the boolean modifier to achieve this effect. So without further ado, let's just go straight into Blender and start cooking. Personally, I find that these kinds of effects tend to look a lot more cohesive when the two objects have similar shapes, so that as they transform uh, the morphing, so one shape sort of bleeds into the other in a, in, a, in a unified way. If the shapes are too different, I find it doesn't, the effect doesn't really look so unified. So I have here these two models, both are uh, head shaped and just making sure that they say they're the same around the same size, I'll place them one over the other. And then I'm going to add a cube and just make sure the cube is large enough to enclose uh, the objects within its volume. On a much simpler scene, this is what we are trying to do. Now in this new scene, I'll add a UV sphere and an icosphere and just make sure they're in the same space in the same spot in the scene. And then I'll add a cube, and this cube is going to be the Boolean object. Now I'll select the UV sphere, add a Boolean modifier, and set the cube as the Boolean object with the operation as difference. And what this does is it keeps the part of the mesh that is outside that Boolean object. And then I'll do the same with the icosphere and add a Boolean modifier, and this time set the operation to intersect. And what this does is it keeps the part of the mesh that is within the Boolean object. And now since both objects are using the same Boolean object, if you select the cube and move it, you'll see how it gives this effect of it reveals one while it hides the other. And that's just the, the idea that we're going to use to have these objects uh, morph into each other. You can even add a wireframe uh, modifier on top of that and the whole effect still holds up. Now I'll leave this file as a free download on Gumroad so you can download that and check it out. Also you can download the model of the skull and the material. Uh, it's a Cycles only shader so you can also download buy those on Gumroad or you can get them if you decide to become a patron you can also get those on Patreon and some other cool stuff like the project files for the for the intro for this video. Okay, so back to the tutorial. So just like we did, I'll select the first model, uh, add a Boolean modifier and set the operation to difference and select set the cube as the Boolean object. And then I'll select the skull and do the same, but this time with the operation as intersect. So at this point, I'd like to refer you to a video by Gleb Alexandrov on all the sorts of problems you could run into when working with the Boolean modifier uh, from his hard surface course. Uh, he's kindly provided it as a, a free video you could watch on YouTube. In fact, if you look closely at the intro right here, you will notice that there's a glitch that happens, which is just one of the many problems you could encounter when working with booleans in Blender. But I should also mention that the booleans in Blender are being rewritten. Now I don't know how or if that will affect the workflow for this tutorial, but um, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see when it happens. What we have so far is working, but I, I don't like how the edge, the boundary where the transition is happening is a very straight a very straight edge and I want to have it kind of distorted and squiggly. So to do that, I'll just select the Boolean object, select the cube and go into edit mode and subdivide it a bunch of times. And then we'll add a displace modifier on the Boolean object. And it still, it doesn't break any of the things that we've set up before and uh, give it like a cloudy texture and just don't go too crazy with the strength and you'll see how that it gives that that boundary it gives that edge a sort of distorted and nice uh, uh, look I just really like which kind of fits with the theme the whole look of the of the effect 
A handy tip here is that if you set the texture coordinates in the displace modifier to global, then when you now move around the Boolean object in 3D space, you'll see how the displacement changes dynamically. And I think this just helps to give that effect um, just a lot more life. Or alternatively, you can just leave it as local and then animate the position and the rotation of the object and it gives just the same, the same result. And the last thing I'd like to point out before we finish is the shader. And uh, I created this shader with the pointiness node. That's how the geometry is emitting light at the, at the, at the corners and at the edges. And even as the Boolean is doing its thing, when the, mo the, the shader will adapt to the effect of the Boolean on the model. And you'll see as the transition is happening, you'll see this edge have this kind of like rim of light that follows the, the, the morphing of the object from one to another, which I think is an, it, it just ties up the whole effect really nicely. So really you just want um, the idea that you have and the mood that you're going for. You just want everything to be playing together nicely in that direction. And that in the end will give you like a, a, a unified finished product. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, if you want to see more, just like and subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, it really helps. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.